And now we welcome you on Pet Pals TV to the fabulous Indianapolis Zoo. And we are inside the amazing Orangutan Center with Liz, who is an orangutan keeper. And my goodness, you must smile every day you get to come into That's work. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, this is one of the largest places in America to have captive orangutans? That's correct. And what is the purpose of this? So the purpose is to educate the public um, about the plight of orangutans in the wild. Right. Um, their habitat is being deforested because of um, the illegal um, palm oil industry. Yeah. Um, so they're losing their habitat because of that. Um, so we just want to educate everybody um, and and help save animals and help save them. Yeah. Now someone says, "Oh, you know, we shouldn't. We should let them go free. Let's send them out in the wild. They couldn't survive out in the wild, could they? Because they've been they've been taken they, care of. They've been raised in zoos their whole life. Yeah. Um, so they wouldn't know how to survive in the wild. Um, we feed them every day um, and and take care of them. So they they wouldn't survive in the yeah. wild. As I understand it, the baby orangutans doesn't mom carry them for about two years or so or. So you they stay with them? mom. Yep, they yeah. stay with mom for quite a while. Um, they can be with mom for up to eight to nine years. Um, so Siri and Mila are one of our um, mother and infant pairs here at the zoo, um, and Mila is still with Siri, and she will be six in March. So wow. she's got a couple more years to be with mom. Okay, and this I couldn't believe how long this mm -hmm. has been open because I remember when we came here, we did the story. Twenty fourteen is when yes. it opened, and you've been here three years. Yes, I've been here for three years. Okay, yep. so not from the very beginning, but. For quite a while. For quite a while. <laughs> um, when you you try you try to educate, you mm -hmm. try to enlighten, yes. and you also get to entertain. I mean, these these faces are just amazing. Adorable. Yes. <laughs> they come right up to you. They come right up to you. Yep, they're free to climb. Um, our atrium space out here is a great um, area for them to use their muscles like they would in the wild. Right. Um, all those fire hoses are meant for them to climb and swing and, and be active like they would out, out in their wild habitat. Okay, so they do get their exercise. They too. definitely do. And, and what do they like to eat? Um, so they like to eat fruits and veggies. Um, I, they prefer fruits over the veggies. Okay. Um, they get greens, lettuce, kale, um, and then they get a lot of enrichment items. So they get yogurt, applesauce, Cheerios, a lot of things that you guys would eat. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just so much fun. Uh, I, I just love this place. I love our Indianapolis Zoo. And you invite people to come out here. And you're open from when to when at the Rand um, Center? So during Christmas at the zoo, we're open um, Monday through Sunday. Okay. Um, we open at 12, um, and then the hours kind of vary depending on the day. Okay, oh, I love it. You have an amazing job. Yes. <laughs> yes, you go. yes, I do. Yes, yep. I do. Whoops, there goes one swinging right now. Oh, swinging, swinging. <laughs> I just love it. Liz, thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Thank we'll you. We'll be back with more from our amazing Indianapolis Zoo. And no, I'm not going to be swinging. No, 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 no. <laughs>